Good morning. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here with uh, Mr. Richard Apun. Uh, he, he is a, a, a professor in, in our uh, specializing master contract claim and delay management in construction works. Uh, uh, the unit uh, that in the unit that deals with uh, delay analysis uh, and we would like him to introduce himself thank you Giovanni <coughs> my name is Dick Apoon um, I started my career uh, some time ago in the United States uh, after studying civil engineering geology rock mechanics soil mechanics uh, at the University of California. Uh, sometime in my late 20s, I, uh, my career led me first to the Far East and then to Italy, uh, where I've been ever since. So uh, my career background is basically uh, Italian uh, engineering and construction uh, management. I started out in, uh, in design, uh, working mainly uh, uh, for deep foundations for high buildings. This was in the United States. Uh, problems of slope stability and, uh, and rock mechanics. Uh, sometime in the late uh, 1960s, I decided for a career change that led me into construction management. And I followed that career path um, in Italy with a, a number of Italian uh, contractors working mainly abroad in uh, countries of, uh, let's say, uh, the English language uh, uh, applications. I have became, I would say, um, involved in contract management and, and, and claim uh, uh, management, mainly um, because that's the part of contract management that I seem to have been uh, most adapted to. And I've been doing that uh, basically uh, since uh, the late 1960s, early 1970s. I essentially retired from, uh, from being an employee in, uh, in construction companies and uh, decided on a career change to uh, devote myself almost entirely to dispute resolution. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the last uh, 15 years, I've uh, managed to uh, uh, develop experience as uh, members in uh, the dispute adjudication boards and arbitration tribunals. And I represent also uh, Italian engineering and construction firms in, uh, in contract management problems. Thank you very much, Nick. Uh, would you also tell us something about uh, mm, the topic of uh, this unit, so delay analysis, uh, why is it so important, uh, sometimes so difficult to do, and why should uh, uh, young engineers get uh, acquainted with uh, this kind of, uh, of analysis? Well, uh, delay analysis is a, uh, let's say, is, a, is an art form of, uh, <laughs> of time calculation. Uh, way back when, in the, in the 1960s and 1970s, early 1980s, uh, it was re re dealt with relatively on a rudimentary uh, basis with respect to today. Uh, if contractors fell into delay, uh, on their contracts, it was a question of uh, determining if these delays were caused by events that the employers uh, or the owners of the projects were uh, liable for or, or events for which the contractor was uh, liable for. It was in, in the early days, it was just a question of addition and subtraction. Uh, the rule of thumb was to count the employer's delay first, and if there were uh, any uh, notions of delay on the contractor's part, uh, then th those delays would be subtracted, the difference would be multiplied uh, by time, and money would, uh, would emerge. But as uh, I would say as computer and analytic technology developed, uh, 
essentially in the 1980s and the, the 1990s, uh, uh, analysts and investigators were able to, uh, depending of course on the, on the uh, value and the quality of the contract information that was available, were able to uh, dissect, if you like, the, uh, the causes and effects of delays and uh, in the recent times, uh, both from Society of Construction Law in England and the American uh, Society of uh, Advancement for Cost Engineers have developed uh, fairly established and uh, articulated uh, protocols for uh, determining if and how and when uh, contractors' delays uh, are uh, related to costs. I would say the burden of uh, proof uh, on the claimants is, uh, is increasing daily as we speak. And I'm interested in this uh, field because as uh, acting as arbitrator and dispute adjudicator, uh, the uh, questions of, uh, of delay and the, and the uh, costs that derive from delay uh, are really the objects of dispute. And the, and the dispute adjudicator must understand these concepts in order to decide money or time or no. <laughs> okay, Dick, uh, uh, thank you very much, very helpful. Uh, and uh, uh, if I've understood uh, correctly, we will see next year for your hopefully. next lesson, right? I'm um, hopefully in uh, okay. module 14, I think module it is. 14, hopefully yeah. I will be able to uh, present a uh, okay. case study that would be Thank you, so see you then. Thank Bye. you.